Hello. Oh, Mr. Holmes. Sherlock, please. Oh, this is a prime stop. Must be expensive. Oh, Mrs. Hudson, the landlady, she's given me a special deal. Owes me a favour. A few years back, her husband got himself sentenced to death in Florida. I was able to help out. Sorry, you stopped her husband being executed? Oh, no, I insured it. Sherlock. <laughs> Mrs. Hudson, Dr. John Watson. Hello. Hello. Come in. Thank you. Shall we? Could be very nice. <laughs> very nice indeed. Yes. Yes, I think so. My thoughts precisely. So I went straight ahead and moved in. Cleaned out. Oh. So this is. Well, all obviously there. I can um, <clears throat> straighten things up a bit. To skull. Oh. Friend of mine. Well, I say friend. What do you think then, Doctor Watson? There's another bedroom upstairs if you'll be needing two bedrooms. Of course we'll be needing two. Oh, don't worry. There's all sorts around here. Mrs. Turner next door's got married ones. Oh. Sherlock, the mess you've made. I looked you up on the internet last night. Anything interesting? Found your website, The Science of Deduction. What did you think? You said you could identify a software designer by his tie and an airline pilot by his left thumb? Yes. And I could read your military career and your face and your leg and your brother's drinking habits and your mobile phone. How? What about these suicides then, Sherlock? Thought that'd be right up your street. Three exactly the same. Four. There's been a fourth. There's something different this time. A fourth? Where? Brixton, Lauriston Gardens. What's new about this one? You wouldn't have come to get me if there wasn't something different. You know how they never leave notes? Yeah. This one did. Will you come? Who's on forensics? It's Anderson. Anderson won't work with me. Well, he won't be your assistant. I need an assistant. Will you come? Not in a police car. I'll be right behind. Thank you. Serial suicides and now a note. Ah, oh, it's Christmas. Mrs. Hudson, I'll be late. Might need some food. I'm your landlady, dear, not your housekeeper. Something cold will do. John, have a cup of tea. Make yourself at home. Don't wait up. Look at him dashing about. My husband was just the same. But you're more the sitting down type, I can tell. I'll make you that cup. You rest your leg. Damn my leg! Sorry. I'm so sorry. It's just sometimes it's bloody thing. I understand, dear. I've got a hip. A cup of tea would be lovely. Thank you. Just this once, dear. I'm not your housekeeper. A couple of biscuits, too, if you've got them. Not your housekeeper. You're a doctor. In fact, you're an army doctor. Yes. <clears throat> Any good? Very good. Seen a lot of injuries, then. Violent deaths. Mm. Yes. Bit of trouble, too, I bet. Of course, yes. Enough for a lifetime, far too much. Want to see some more? Oh, God, yes. Sorry, Mrs. Hudson, I'll skip the team. Off out. Both of you? Possible suicides, four of them. There's no point sitting at home and there's finally something fun going on. Look at you all happy, it's not decent. Who cares about decent? The game, Mrs. Hudson, is on. 